With TikTok and YouTube literally fighting for your attention and paying creators thousands of dollars to do it, there's never been a better time to learn how to make viral short form content. Now there's literally kids on TikTok making thousands of dollars from posting the simplest videos possible with little to no experience beforehand, probably all videos that you can create on your mobile phone. However, the more people that do this, the more saturated this opportunity becomes. And this is where you need to make yourself stand out. So when everyone is using CapCut, you need to be using additional tools to either streamlined your work process so you can upload more frequently or to just improve the quality of your videos. So to be able to rapidly grow on these platforms, the one crucial factor that you need to have is high view duration. And the best way to have high view duration is to have good, high quality, high edited, engaging content. In this video, I'm gonna show you some AI tools that will, will literally 10X the quality of your content, reduce your editing time, and allow you to stand out from all the other people using the same platforms. Why should you listen to me? Well, I'm currently growing five different shorts channels on TikTok and YouTube to try and make the most of this opportunity. So without further ado, let's jump into my list of the five AI tools to improve your video quality, help you stand out while creating short form content. So first on the list, we have Submagic. So Submagic has to be my favorite tool and I know hundreds of you guys have been enjoying it and downloading it. I briefly covered this tool a few months ago, but a lot has changed since then. So let me show you some of the new features in Submagic. And for anyone who's never seen this tool, let me show you what it's capable of. So let me open one of these projects. And as you can see, basically I upload this and it generates all these captions for you. And unlike some of the other caption generator tools, this is 99% of the time, one, actually in line with the words when they're speaking, two, accurate, and three, the, I'm not hating CapCut on this, but for some reason, I always get it when words just go all over the screen. I don't know if you guys experience this. Let me show you some of the features you can do with Submagic. So you upload it to their website, and it will basically break down the transcription of the video for you. And then here, you get access to a bunch of different designs, and you can actually make your own custom one. So I'm building a few theme pages, and therefore, I have a custom one down here that I've just set up, which is going to be my branding but look at the way it's actually in line with the words that he's saying so for you guys out there that want to recreate some of your favorite creators captions this is the tool for you so they have Devon the guy that literally popped up with these like glowing captions that absolutely took TikTok by storm or you've got Mr Beast or you've got obviously Hormozy with the classic Though that version or the animated version. And they've just added Ali Abdul's, which is really clean look, and Imangaze. So as you can see, there's a bunch of options that are pre-made for you that you literally just click and go. Now, the good things that I wanted to show you about some of the updates. So if you go into one of the designs, let's just say that, and you can click customize and you can now actually change all the fonts. So you can have your own custom font in here. You can change the size. You can change to have one line or one word. You can have it animated or not animated. You can obviously change the position, but here's a new update. So now you can actually change the position of each individual word if you'd like to. So if we go back, see, another thing is you can add sound effects. So they've truly rolled out a bunch of new updates. That is Submagic. Honestly, I use it for all my captions. I always try and use another tool and then I always come back to it just because the other tools are so and they let me down like 99% of the time this is reliable for me the other ones I always have problems that's sub magic the first one so number two on this list is Topaz AI so guys I have bit the bullet and I've eaten the cost of $300 to use this program now I've been asked by so many of my discord members to try out this tool and see whether it's actually worth it so I'm gonna put a comparison on the screen for you right now look at these two videos and see if you think this quality is worth it I'm going to take Take you through exactly how I created this high quality video, what settings I used to render it and everything right now. Your boy fell into the trap of seeing all these people showing you how to get this insane high quality HD TikTok. Sorry I punched you. No you're not. 
And so I bit the bullet and I spent $300 on that. Now I'm still trying to figure out the render settings. If you want to copy what I've done, then these are the settings on the right hand side below. I'll also, I basically watched a couple of YouTube videos on these experts. And so I've got the settings that I'll drop in the Google Doc in the description. But basically this is what it promises to do. As you can see, it just refines the details and like makes these it's supposed to be just way more sharper i guess but i'm sure if i whack all of this to the max top or something but yeah i'm still trying to play around with settings but i've seen people turn literally pictures from this to this so it's definitely worth checking out so if you've got a spare 300 dollars to spend to rapidly increase the quality of your content then check this out the number three on this list is chat gpt i couldn't not mention this because i still think a lot of people aren't utilizing this properly now i'm about to show you a black hat strategy to use chat gpt so don't go hating on me in the comments but there's a lot of you who are trying to reinvent the wheel here with your content so you take another piece of content in the same niche that has gone viral and you download it and you transcribe it then you take the script and you put it into chat gpt and ask chat gpt to extract the main points and then reword it in a similar length script now this is not copying people's ideas okay so don't come at me with that but this is just using it content that you know has worked before that's gone viral because of the length because of the editing because of the script give yourself a little boost and an advantage because you know for a fact this script works so all you have to do is just try and match the quality of editing and everything else that goes into it so in my next video i'm going to be showing you how to make these would you rather videos and if you're unsure what makes the difference team why this one got 150k views and why this one got 4.3 million sometimes it's hidden in the script so what you can do is click on this video and then you can right click here and you basically want to copy the link and then you want to go to something like dub dub is something that i use because i've got a subscription but whatever you want to use and you want to come to their transcription you want to paste it in there and look it's going to transcribe you the script so now the chat gpt hack that i told you guys about you can then copy this and paste it into chat gpt and ask chat gpt to word this can you reword in the same in the same style and ChatGPT is going to reword this so for this instance it's not quite relevant because this is a this or that so it's not really like a storyline whereas the like motivation clips you see where it's there like this month we're gonna do this and success business rule number 19 you don't need many friends you need real friends remember a lamborghini only has two seats or like the story ones you can then take basically the outline of the story and the script and change it a little bit make it your own but also keep the same structure same narrative and same length so this is why i think chat gpt along with helping you with tags and titles and everything like that is honestly the goat when it comes to an ai tool that helps you create viral short form content number four on the list has got to be vidIQ so vidIQ has free plans and it has paid plans but honestly i've been using the free plan the whole time i've been creating youtube videos this tool allows you to see the search volume for all of the keywords that you could possibly rank for so i could be like would you rather videos so as you can see look this has got a really high overall score which is why i'm going to make a video about it and you can basically use this to ensure that the keywords around the videos that you want to make are actually being searched and actually have any sort of interest this is so valuable because you can already check to see whether a keyword that you're trying to target for your short form content is actually worth making content about if no one's searching it up then there's literally no point you making a video around it and if it's got super high volume then you know for a fact you can just double down and keep making videos in that niche. This is possibly one of the best things for your SEO and your tags research. So number five on this list is mid journey. In any niche, you've seen B-roll footage that was generated by AI. Most of the time, those videos perform extremely well. Now, if you want to learn how to do that step-by-step, step, I've made a video right here so you can go check that out because you can literally just grab your script and then go through every four to six seconds is the ultimate time to have something change on the screen. Now, that doesn't 
have to always be editing. That can be captions, that can be zoom ins, that can be jump cuts, that could be anything. But having B roll that you can then pan through looks really good. And I honestly find myself watching those videos more, especially with the podcast clips or the storytelling value clips. So that has been the five tools I think will be massively valuable in boosting your short form content. So just remember, it doesn't matter about likes, it doesn't matter about comments, it doesn't matter about subscribers really. All it matters is about the quality of your content and the average view duration. So the way to ensure that you're not gonna get stuck on 200 views on TikTok is to analyze your content. Be strict with yourself. Look at content in other niches. Compare your quality to their content and then keep uploading, being consistent. I seen in Digital Income Project when he was talking about this that there's a huge statistic of people that start YouTube channels and then only post one short. One short and that's it. That's the combination competition that you have. There's so much opportunity right now in short form content. I am creating five counts in five different niches and I'm going to be pushing the short form content. And in November, December, you're going to see the results of this. So either join me in this challenge of actually trying to take hold of this opportunity or you can watch from the sidelines as people potentially start making passive income, even life changing income. That's a wrap on the video guys. I hope you found this valuable. If you have, make sure to like, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week, your boys Gonskis.